the other thing I was going to mention today, and this was the original purpose behind the video, was uh, I've been working on another channel for my uh, business partner, Scott Henderson, also known as Zipgun. And uh, I'll put a link in the description for his channel. Uh, we work at the studio together. He's, you know, my mentor. And um, so he, he, he wanted to start a channel that was, uh, you know, him talking in his turret. He has a, uh, a little room in his house that has all the CDs at it. I don't know how many, tens of thousands. Um, he's the one who owns most of the records at the studio there, most of the LPs. So I encourage you, if you're into any of that kind of stuff, he's, he's often talking about the history of albums, or the history of uh, record labels. I would consider him to be quite the authority on record labels in particular. Um, especially pre, uh, when they all start to gobble each other up, right? Like, I mean, now there's only two record labels in the entire world. Seems like there's Sony and Universal, and that's about it. But, um, he, uh, Yeah, and uh, actually I consider him to be a bit of a, uh, um, he's quite the natural at it because uh, like even the first couple of videos he brought over, I really didn't have to do too much to make them, uh, you know, edit up or whatever. It's, it's pretty uh, low editing, which is good because I don't, I don't have time for a whole other full-time job, right? Um, so anyway, I encourage you, if you're into any of that kind of thing, music, or CDs or, you know, that sort of thing, uh, record labels. Uh, sometimes you're talking about the shit that he finds at uh, thrift stores, which is probably where most of his uh, CDs actually come from. He gets really good deals on shit. Like, he finds the craziest shit for, like, a buck. You know? If you were looking at the same thing on Amazon, probably 30. So, uh, yeah, Zipgun is his name, and that's the name of the channel as well. And I'll leave a link down below and, uh, yeah, check him out. I told him we should probably do some cross-advertising, uh, because why not? Uh, I just finished him, uh, working on a video with him where he had done, uh, well, basically a COVID record. Uh, not about COVID, but with the spare time that he had not at being at work, he, uh, recorded a record. And, uh, he thought it might be interesting to have some of my, um, nature videos on it or whatever. He didn't really exactly know what he wanted to see, but uh, I kind of uh, spent a couple of weeks and uh, added a bunch of my uh, nature stuff to it. And uh, I think synergistically it kind of came together. Um, so far, anybody who's seen like the uh, the work print or whatever has, has enjoyed it. I, of course, I only pick people I trust opinions of, so Perhaps I'm just getting the good side, but I, I think uh, I think you'll like it. It's, it's pretty neat. You get some idea of the uh, kind of intricate uh, the oddity of this guy's music. Fuck. Gives you the weed stereo. What the fuck going on here today? Yeah, if you're all at all interested in um, the history of certain albums, the history of certain labels, perhaps the history of uh, West Coast Canadian punk rock, which he is also a, uh, not only a contributor to, but, um, but quite the benefactor as far as uh, you know, having recorded a lot of those early uh, West Coast punk albums. Um, he certainly is the, uh, the authority on a lot of that stuff. And so that's uh, why I've always been encouraging him. I, originally, I was encouraging him to write a book or whatever, but obviously, uh, writing a book is fucking hard. And uh, it takes a long time, and you might die before it's done. So this might actually help uh, get some of that information out into out into the world and, uh, and be a lot funner and a lot uh, simpler to do. So I, I fully support it. Um, yeah. Anyway, thanks. Talk soon. Take care. Stay dirty. Bye.